This video is sponsored by Brad Carey with Realty Executives Premier. If you're looking to buy or sell your home, call Brad Carey. We're live at Lumiere Place Casino with Mark Goddicker. Mark uh, won the fight uh, relatively quickly in there via armbar. Uh, take me through the end of the fight. Um, I just went with what uh, Ezra and Kevin were saying. Put him up against the cage as soon as I got the chance. Take him down. Not not try to rush it, but as soon as I uh, as soon as he showed the arm, I grabbed it. Just listened to Ezra. He walked me through it. Uh, hooked the Kimura. Couldn't get him with that. Turned it right into a straight arm bar. And uh, I think he was on the verge of tapping. I don't think he actually tapped out. The referee stopped it because his his elbow popped. So I don't think he could have tapped. <laughs> So the referee jumped in right away so it didn't further injure it. Well, it definitely showed tonight. There you have it. Uh, Mark Oh My Goddicker live at the Lumiere Place Casino coming off a first round win. Thanks, Mark. Hey, we're at Lumiere Place Casino with Kyle Walker. Um, came off a big fight with Bo Smith in there. Man, I tell you what, you guys started off that fight and you guys were swinging. Yeah, um, you know, all I heard about Bo is tough guy, brawler, you know, hits hard, heavy hands. Um, so I kind of figured he was going to come out strong. Um, me and Tyron talked before the fight, uh, you know, and he said, come out, take control of the center of the cage, and, uh, you know, don't back down. He said, make sure that he knows you're coming out to fight. Um, so, you know, whenever you got two brawlers that come out, um, you know, it's, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be a good show. And uh, apparently it, it turned out to be pretty good. Oh, no doubt. You guys were definitely in their game, opponents uh, getting after each other, throwing a lot of uh, punches, heavy punches, trying to strike and on land. But at the uh, end of the day for you, uh, it was a knee that got the job done. Take me through it. Uh, yeah, you know, we've, we've been working a ton on my technique. Um, you know, everybody knows me as a brawler. They don't know me as a, as a sound technical puncher. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't say we've taken offense to that, but we we don't like that. You know, I want to I want to develop my game. I want to be known as a as a good fighter, and uh, you know, so we've been working a ton on my boxing. Um, you know, and and tonight it, it helped out a lot. You know, I know the knee the knee is what caught him, but uh, I felt like I hurt him early in the fight with with uh, some some good left hands. Um, you know, so. We just, uh, we felt like we executed our game plan the way we wanted to. And that's Kyle Walker live at the Lumiere Place Casino with KnuckleJunkies.com. Thanks for taking the time tonight, Kyle. Hey, we're with Robert the Beast Washington here live at Lumiere Place Casino. Uh, Robert coming off a uh, first round win over Sharon, Spain. Uh, looked like uh, you got in there and uh, took care of business. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good fight for me. Uh, my, my focus was just going there and just take care of business. Didn't really want to have a filling out process. I knew it was a little bit awkward, so I couldn't rush it too much. So I wanted to go in there and, and get it done, get it over with, not give him any confidence going into the second round. So I think I did I did what I needed to do. It's some stuff I did wrong, but, you know, I feel like overall it was a good fight. Well, at the end of the day, you came out of there with the win, and that's the most important thing. It looked like you kept it real aggressive and kept the pressure on him early. Yeah, yeah. Um, I knew like guys like uh, Sharon, the longer the fight goes, the more confident he, he gets. He, he is. So going into the third round, you go to a third round with a guy like that, he starts thinking more and more, oh, I can beat this guy, I can beat this guy. He throws a, a high kick or something, he catches you and he wins the fight. Um, and that's the most dangerous thing about him. Um, so I wanted to break him down in the first round and end it in the first round so there wouldn't be no second or third round. So. And there you have it. That's Robert the Beast Washington. We're live at Lumiere Place Casino, Shamrock FC. Congratulations on the win, Robert. Hey, we're at Lumiere Place Casino with Luigi Fioravante. Uh, kind of shaking off the rust in there. Had a game opponent there for a little bit, but uh, you were the winner tonight. Take me through it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Josh Thorpe, you know, he was a tough opponent. Um, you know, he... Uh he was trying to. He was. He was backing out. He backed out of the fight actually uh, a couple days ago, and then uh, we actually got him to come back. Uh, but I'm glad he did, you know. And he was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. And uh, he gave me a good fight, you know. And um, I didn't get the performance that I wanted to, you know, give to the fans in, in uh, St. Louis. I was trying to get a <clears throat> that first round knockout. I always try to go for a knockout or, or you know, ground and pound something. But uh, you know, I'm going to take what I learned from the fight and I'm gonna look at the mistakes that I made and uh, adjust and uh, see what I got to work on. Well, you know, a win's a win at the end of the day, so congratulations to you there. Um, a real aggressive from both of you guys early in the fight, and, uh, you know, um, it looked like he had the same thought process as you, but um, you proved to be uh, more of a veteran fighter in there, in my opinion. Yeah, he was – excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, 
he was a little unorthodox, you know, he kept switching uh, stances a little bit and, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was being a little cautious because um, he's known for throwing a lot of that spin and stuff. I didn't want to come in and, and, and uh, commit to a big punch and then get caught with something stupid, you know. Man, MMA is such an unpredictable sport. You know, anybody can win the fight. It doesn't matter what your record is or, you know, who you are, you know. Best guy in the world can, you know, lose to the, the worst guy in the world. So, uh, you know, I kind of was a little cautious looking for that shot. Um, my hand was a little hurt, so uh, I couldn't really put the right hand to him like I wanted to. But uh, you know what? You learn from your mistakes, and then you come back the next day, and you know you get better with, uh, with every fight. Well, a chance for you to fight in St. Louis, which was awesome for all the fans here tonight. You know, uh, went to a lot of uh, elbows and uh, kicks, and maybe that was a byproduct of the uh, injured hand that you made uh, reference to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. As soon, you know, I felt my hand was starting to, you know, get a little. T uh, tender so I started you know changing up with elbows and knees in the clinch um, but like I said man his head was really hard and uh, I started you know trying to work the body and work some angles and uh, it was game man so I, I had a good time um, it was it was a fun fight and there you have it Luigi taking us through the fight that he had tonight big main event winner and I know St. Louis is finally uh, glad to get to see you in the cage there congratulations and thanks for taking the time with Knuckle Junkies thank you uh, can I give a shout out to uh, I want to give a shout out to Pancras USA uh, combat a uh, ex uh, extreme uh, combat a extreme MMA out in uh, Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, the guys at Finney's, and uh, and that's it. There you have it. Thanks. Get your St. Louis MMA fix at knuckleduggies.com.